All right, what is going on guys? Welcome back. This is your host Majestic Jester here and today I will be talking about my top five picks in Mortal Kombat X, five being the highest that I want to see, one being the lowest. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this video today. This is just my personal opinions. Um, so let's go ahead and start this process today. So here is my number one pick, number one pick, and that's going to be Frost. And the reason why you guys asked why I wanted to see Frost in this uh, game, um, Frost was actually a very fan favorite. Um, she did make her first appearance in Deadly Alliance, and a lot of people liked Frost. Um, she was Sub-Zero's apprentice, but she ended up betraying the, uh, the Lin Kuei for her own personal desire, for her own reasons. I don't remember much about Deadly Alliance, so I do not have like a full background on her. But the reason why a lot of characters liked her is because, um, for one, she was another female character, and there's not many of those in Mortal Kombat, you know, especially like Katana, Jade, and Melina are all based off like kind of the same design. Um, but one has a staff, one has size, and one has fans. But Frost had her own unique design. She had these ice daggers, she had her own kind of combo style. And she also had the ability to freeze the ground. Uh, most of her freeze attacks were either underneath you or above you. Unlike Sub-Zero's who were straightforward ice clones and stuff like that. And a lot of characters liked her because of her design and kind of her background story. And of course her look. I mean, ice hair. How can you not fucking like ice hair? Um, that's why she's my number one pick on the spot. So, number two. My number two pick on this list today is MoCap. And you guys are probably like, oh god, why the hell would you pick MoCap? And a lot of people like MoCat. MoCat made his first appearance in Deadly Alliance as a secret character. Um, he was actually a fan favorite. Um, when you finally unlocked him, he was kind of... Uh, he didn't really get a story until uh, Armageddon. But basically, MoCap is a martial arts instructor in Chicago. He teaches martial arts. Um, he uh, Johnny Cage came to him with an offer um, in the story to do the motion capture for Deadly Alliance, which was his new movie at the time, AKA Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Kind of comes together here. Um, and a reason a lot of people liked him is because he was like Johnny Cage, but he was a whole lot faster and he had his own, he had two kind of, um, or three, uh, three kind of moves that kind of made him interesting. He had Taekwondo and he also had Karate. So he was kind of like a Johnny Cage and he also had some of Johnny Cage's moves like the double flip kick, um, the fireball, but the fireball was just like a red fireball. And he was just a very neat character because he was a secret character and a lot of people like secret characters, of course. The secret characters make a big start. So when you finally unlock this character, you kind of want to know more about him. And he didn't really have a backstory until Armageddon. So I think Mortal Kombat X would do mocap so much justice because we didn't really know much about him besides he, you know, he's a, a teacher in Chicago. I mean, we did get his boring end um, his boring ending in Deadly Alliance, basically what happens is he dies and the world comes to an end. But other than that, that's about all we got from MoCap. Um, so there's still a lot that MoCap needs to know. There's a lot of, you know, things that could just be put to justice with MoCap. And I think he would fit this environment very well. Um, I know because you're like, well, he doesn't fit into the Mortal Kombat story. Well, I mean, yeah, Tanya did. But, I mean, if you think about it, look at the Mortal Kombat characters that don't fit in. Uh, Tremor's not in the Mortal Kombat story whatsoever. Predator's not in the Mortal Kombat story whatsoever. And neither is, I mean, Tanya is for a brief, I mean, she is in there a couple scenes of the, of the, uh, game. You know, and Jason Voorhees is not to be shown either. And they all have their own story during arcade mode. So I think MoCap would actually fit in because he was part of Armageddon. And especially since his ending, he dies and everybody else dies. I think it'd be really cool to go ahead and bring him back and kind of see, you know, his style kind of like what happened to him and all this stuff and uh you know maybe reunites with johnny cage and you know he finds out johnny cage has a daughter and maybe he trains her or something like that i mean there's a lot of things that mocap go off here and i would really like to see him make an interesting thing another reason why i really want to see mocap back in this game because he's the only character that did not have a fatality um neither did blaze of course so in armageddon he did have you know the button mashing fatalities you have to press a bun bunch of buttons and you do like take off their arm legs hands and stuff like that which is really stupid but i want him to have his own set of fatalities and that's why he is my number two on this list so moving on number three my number three should be higher on this list but it was kind of hard because we have seen him before and my number three character on this list of course is going to be the one and only noob cybot now you guys are probably thinking why is noob not higher on this list well because we did see him in mk9 and that was not that long ago and that's why he's not higher but i would love to see noob cybot back on this list of characters 
Um, as, as you guys know, Noob Saibot made his first appearance in a hidden character in Mortal Kombat 2. Um, his name comes from Ed Boon and John Tobias, uh, spelled it's backwards. Um, so most of you MK fans know that. Um, he didn't really have much of a story until, you know, the reboot where he died in MK9. Spoiler alert, so if you guys don't want to hear that, you know, exit the fucking video right now. Basically, he died in MK9 as the first Sub-Zero and comes back as Noob Saibot. So it's really cool that he did that. Um, the reason why Noob is a favorite is because Noob, well, the fact that he was a secret character and a lot of people thought, like, it was a myth. Like, you cannot, they're like, you can't fight this guy. He does not exist. And people, you know, spent hours, I mean, hours trying to fight this dude. Um, they could not find him. And finally, somebody bumped into him. They thought it was a glitch at first. And, I mean, he just blew up. And that's where most of his popularity comes from. Um, but the reason why Noob is very, very, uh, like a very interesting character is because of the fact that he is the only character in the game that has a projectile, as you can see on screen, that you literally cannot block. The projectile stops you from blocking. It disables blocking. No other character has a thing like that. So if you block it, it still kind of gets you. Um, so that's what made Noob very interesting. And of course, he has the down up, which a lot of people spam and coach. He comes out of the sky and he slams you on your head. And, you know, a lot of people love that move. And you can see this guy doing it multiple times in this video. And uh, that's what made Noob Saibot very interesting. He had his own unique moveset. Even though he was a completely different ninja, a lot of people like Noob. Um, so I think he'd make an appearance because, you know, in MK9 he was there as a Sub-Zero. And I think he should definitely come back, especially since we have the younger Sub-Zero. So they could definitely put him into the story to where maybe he meets up with his younger brother or, you know, or his young, actually it'd be the youngest brother because uh, the other Sub-Zero in MK9. So I think it'd be very, very cool to see Noob Saibot come back, especially since his fatalities were really awesome in MK9 where he pulls your legs apart and he throws the portal underneath you and stuff like that. And I really think Noob Saibot definitely fits in here somewhere um, along the cast of MKX. And I can just picture like his costumes, you know, how everybody kind of got these sick costumes in MKX. Scorpion's costume is super sick. You know, Aramak has a super sick combo. I mean, there's so many characters that have all these co awesome combos. So I would definitely love to see these combos, you know, come back and kind of see these fatalities at the, the max level that we have these fatalities at. Um, so I definitely think Noob Saibot makes a very, very, very good question or a very, very good character. And he definitely needs to come back in some future DLC. Um, they have been hinting at this at Twitter. You know, where's Noob at? A lot of people wanted to see Noob and Smoke come back, which are really the top two on some people's list. Unfortunately, he's definitely three on mine. I do have two other characters in mind that I really want to see that need to come back. But for Noob, just because we saw him in MK9 and another character we saw in MK9, you guys are probably going to be like, you're a hypocrite because we already saw him too. Um, but I definitely think Noob Saibot needs to be back in the game. Like I said, he, his his combo set is just awesome. The way he his unblockables, how he fought in MK9 with his combos and his shadow kicks. Even though Johnny Cage kind of mimics his abilities in um, MKX, which kind of gives me false hope. Just because he mimics them and all that. So I really don't know if he's going to make it. Just because, you know, Stunt Double is kind of the Noob Saibot shadow. But I want to see him come back. But anyway, Noob Saibot definitely needs to come back in mkx and he is definitely my top three character on this list he definitely needs to be back and i'm really hoping noob comes back in some kind of future dlc so moving on to our next character number four my number four character on this list of course is the big bag shang Tsung. and you guys are probably like why do we need to see him we have shinnok yes we have shinnok of course, Shinnok is a warrior or uh, wizard. He has kind of the same abilities as Shang Tsung, such as the down-up fireballs. He has the ability to steal abilities, but he's not Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung ha is known for taking, you know, the whole character's move list. I don't want to steal one move. I want to be that character. I want to mimic that person. I want to sit there and I want to troll, and I want to make that character look stupid. If somebody, especially using somebody who has long-range projectiles or character that shoots guns i want to take that character's abilities and i want to sit back and i want to shoot guns i want to shoot the shit out of them for as long as i possibly can especially like striker and stuff like that because that's just what i need to do and shang Tsung is the person for that i definitely want to see him back he is a main character in mortal kombat he always has been since mk1 and he and we have Quan chi and shinnok so we definitely need shang Tsung back he definitely belongs in the mortal kombat universe now before we get on to the big one, there are some characters I did not talk about that should have been on the list, such as Unaga and Blaze. Of course, if you do not know who these characters are, Unaga was the main villain of Deception. 
uh, he's the Dragon King. You do see like banners and stuff of him in MKX. You can actually get banners and stuff. And of course, Blaze, who was the leader of Armageddon. So um, they didn't make it on the list, unfortunately. They just were not on my top 10 uh, or my top 5. Sorry, I just did not feel that they belonged in this list because they're too big and too bulky. We didn't have Ferritor for that. So we do not need any more big characters um, such as them. There's another characters, uh, another couple characters that did not make it on my list that I really want to talk about before we move on. And that, of course, is the robots. And we're going to talk about Cyrex, Sector, and Smoke. Um, I do want Human Smoke to come back, but he was not on my top five. Of course, you know, there is no robots in the game. But, I mean, I think I feel like the robots are overplayed. We've seen them for so long. I just don't think that we should see him come back. We've seen him in MK9. We've seen him in Trilogy. We've seen him in MK... I mean, there's so many of them. A lot of people wanted to see Cyrex and Sector back. And they could possibly make him return because they are in MKX's story. Sector is for a brief second. And so some of the other um, ninjas. So they might be making an appearance, but they just did not make this list. I do apologize. So here's my big one. The biggest one of all. Number five. My number five pick, and some of you guys have guessed it, Fujin. Now you're saying, why is Fujin on the top of the list? Fujin made his first appearance in MK4 as the God of Wind. Um, he actually is kind of like an elder god like Raiden. And Fujin is a fan favorite. He is more fan based than Noob, and that is why he is at the top of the list. Um, Fujin uh, just needs to be in the game, and he has been hinted at a lot, and that's why he's on the top of the list because he has been talked about a whole lot in Mortal Kombat X. If actually, if you see Cassie Cage's fatality, it's called the selfie, you can see where. Uh, Ed Boone is kind of trolling the cast and he's like, has Fujin been unlocked yet? So he has been hinted a lot that Fujin will make an appearance in this game. Um, I really want to see Fujin. I think Fujin is a very incredible character. I liked him a lot in MK4. His wind style, he's just like Raiden, but he's a wind guy. Um, he had some of the coolest fatalities. He had one where he literally ripped your skin off your body. And Fujin was just a very unique character and he's been a fan favorite. And a lot of people were requesting him before this game was even made. So that is why he's at the top of my list. Um, I think Fujin does fit in. Plus, we saw him in Mortal Kombat X. As you guys can see, we see him right now on the screen. Um, and he had a big story in Mortal Kombat X. I mean, of course, he was defending Earthrealm with Raiden. So I really want to see Fujin back. I think Fujin makes an excellent addition to this game. And he just needs to be in this game. He has been hitting that a lot. And I think he's going to be the number one priori, or primary character that we do see. If we do get DLC, I think he would be in the first set of a combat t pack 2. If we get a combat pack 2. Um, but these are just some of the top 5 characters that I absolutely wanted to see. And Fujin being the wind god and how he had this big iconic role in Mortal Kombat X. I think he belongs in this universe more than anybody else does. And that is why he is number 5 on my list to get or on my list today well guys this wraps up my video for mortal kombat x um this is just my top five characters my very first video ever doing this so if you guys do like make sure to leave me a big thumbs up if you guys hate it leave me a thumbs down if you're just like you fucking suck then leave me a comment i don't give a shit but i'm out of here so make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you for the next one peace